this is how the royal family has changed over the last hundred years. You could pull it up. Royal Secret Parts 2, Real Royalty. Real Royalty published on June 24, 22. Now, let's, let me show you something. Let me show you. Let me show you something. Then we could go from there. You see this light? But moving along. See that light there? That is coming from the opposite side of the room into the TV. The opposite side of the room into the TV. Okay? And see what's, what they're doing. Now, I have the TV on pause. This TV's on pause, but let me get to what I want to show you all. Popular member of the royal family. I think William's got it in him to be a good king. Many people in Britain now believe the long-term prospects for the monarchy would be improved if William and Kate were next in line. They will be king and queen. New surveys show that more than half would prefer William as the next monarch. In the meantime, William and Kate must get used to being international superstars, photographed and fated wherever they go. I think they're quite... Okay. Right here. You see purple lights? Go back, pull the video up. How the royal family has changed over the last hundred years. Part two, real. These, this light, see this light coming down? These purple lights, see these lights coming down? Okay, let's, let me see if I could go back a little bit, because it's very quick. For the, um, for the younger generation. But William superstars, photographed and fated wherever they go. Okay, it's so quick, but you see it? You can see the lights coming down on him. Now these lights, believe it or not, ah, you see this right up in here? When you go back and you watch the video on your own, you will see that it's coming from this light here. See these purple lights? See these purple lights? See it down there? Okay. A nice role model for the um, for the younger generation. Okay, here we have the lights. Just a different scene. Here we have the lights coming down. If it it's coming down from the heavens. Okay. Let me see the green light down here. See it down there. And what happens? So really, here the fact that the four of them have come see out still there. in this very visible symbol of unity is quite telling. See it. Will you release that statement? See it. There. See it there. See it there. He will miss his granny. That is certainly true. They don't know that this is there, and other people can't see it. Okay, we have a better picture here. See the lights coming down. The green lights on your TV when you're looking at it. Um, because I have it on pause, you'll see that it's coming from the heavens. You'll see that it's coming from the sky. See the green light on her? See the green light there? Let me see how much more I could get. Now, I don't know how this TV is do this, but me see, I you almost could see me in the background. Mm -hmm. See the lights? See the lights? And here we see them. See the lights? Reading the See the lights? Given by the members of the public. And I want See the lights? See the lights? They're and coming from the them. heavens. See the lights? Reading the tributes. Following them? Given by the members of the public. And I wonder whether they're going to go... I don't know if I had said. This is royals unite. Harry and Meghan join William and Kate in tribute to Channel 4. 
So you could pull it up and you'll see for yourself. <laughs> see lights. See lights. See lights. See the lights. In her light. See the lights. See the lights. I'll tell you what those lights are in a little bit. See the lights. See the lights. In her I thought I'll show you this. Now this is saying people left speechless on live TV yesterday off the curb ministry. So you could pull this up. Because I only could show you a certain portion of what I want you to see. These lights are all over the world. It's, I mean, I didn't think I'd feel like this, actually. I do. It's, it's very upsetting. Uh, the king and queen consort, for reference there to Charles, he automatically becomes king, will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Uh, no. And uh, lovely for King. Oh. No way, man. Queen Elizabeth died, man. Walking up the Scottish Highlands when they bumped into two American tourists. Now, the tourists, for one reason or another, did not realize that the woman standing in front of them was the Queen of all of Britain and all of the Commonwealth. And so they started getting into general chit chat. Eventually, the conversation turned into, where is it you come from? And the Queen said, we live in London. So then the Americans said, you wouldn't by any chance ever happen to have met Her Majesty before. Oh, me? No, I've never met the Queen. But Richard here, Richard meets with her very regularly. You've got to be kidding me, the Americans said. No way, you really know the Queen. And Richard nodded his head. Sorry, madam, you wouldn't mind if you just took a picture of us with Richard. You see, we've never ever met anyone who knows the Queen and our friends back in the States, they're gonna be blown away by this. So here we have possibly the most famous person in all of the world, and she takes the camera off the American tourists and takes a picture of them standing next to her bodyguard. Can you ever imagine? See the light? See the light? Coming down where it's coming from? See the light? These lights are all over the world. These lights, I'll show it to you in, in the Holy Bible, what it is. And takes a picture of them standing next to her bodyguard. Can you ever imagine See the light, see the light, see the light. royalty is right in front of you and you totally miss it. And yet that's what people do every single day. Every single day the yes. king stands right in front of king you. Jesus. And you totally miss king it. Jesus. King Jesus. See there is a king who has left his fingerprints on the whole world. There yes. is a king see who is him so there? mighty, yeah. so great, you can see his design, his craftsmen everywhere. There is a king who speaks loudly through a book every single day, a book that he commissioned through another king called James. There is a king who everywhere we go, we hear his servants every weekend around buildings all around the world who cry out his message week by week. What is this king's name? His name is Jesus Christ. See the lights? The cross, See the light? For rebels, those who rebelled against his kingdom, against his father. And he's come, he's he here. died for sinners. Who are those rebels? You and I. Every single day of life. We don't care what the God of the universe says. And yet this God, this God man, Jesus Christ, he died on a cross paying the price for our sin. He paid it with royal blood because the Bible says without the shedding of blood there can be no forgiveness of sins. And there on the cross, the Lord Jesus Christ shed his blood so that we could be forgiven. That blood was shed so that our sins can be washed away. And when he died on the cross, everyone thought it was over. Everyone thought this is the end of this king's rulership. He's finished, he's done, he's been eradicated. But on the third day, he proved all of his enemies wrong, and he rose from the dead, beating the grave. And right now, he's ascended on high, seated next to the Father's hand, sovereignly ruling over all of the universe. And one day, this king is coming back, and one day, every single knee shall bow. Every
He's that is back. That Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And my question to you is this. Have you bowed the knee to this king? Have you obeyed this king? Have you put your trust in this king? Have you been redeemed by this king? Have you had your sins cleansed, washed away by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ? Or will you continue to be a rebel against this king? Because one day all those who continue to spit back in the face of this king, all those rebels will be gathered and they'll be cast out of God's kingdom. They'll be cast into hell for all eternity. And there they will be punished because they rejected the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll be honest with you, I got excited when I was at school and I would hear of people receiving letters from the Queen. But right now, you have an invitation from the King. Jesus Christ opens his arms out and says, come join my kingdom, find forgiveness of sins, find the love that I have for you and dwell in it. Don't run from me any longer. Will you accept his invitation? In January 2022, if you told me that this year the Queen is going to die, personally, I wouldn't believe you. I know she's 96 years old, but personally, I really did think she was going to reach 100. But I'll tell you something that shocked me even more. When a king this year died, which king am I talking about? The King of Rock. If you want to know more about this king, click this video right now. Okay, this is uh, another form of the light on NASA and a lot of people are saying they see these strange lights, UFO. This is the same light. This is the setting sun. When Moses um, was going to Pharaoh, Moses asked God, say, who should I say send me? And um, God tell him, I am that I am. This light is, you see it there? And you see it change? It's the great I am that I am. I am that I am. And it's throughout the earth. And in fact, it's inside of you. It's inside of you. John chapter 1. You will read that and you'll see that. It's inside of you. So that's the same light what's on Megan and all those other people. They take on different appearances. Many, 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 many different appearances. Now I'm on the corner from where I am, where I live. I am that I am, Lord of Lords and King of Kings. There is only one Lord and there is only one King.